Hey guys, it's tutorial time. Today I'll be showing you how to build the item elevator that was in my Let's Play series. This item elevator uses droppers and no items should ever get stuck in the system. It should be 100% working. Okay, I'll be showing you how it works and then I'll be showing you how to build it. So, I have 10 diamonds on me right now. I'll throw 10 diamonds inside this chest. And uh, off it goes straight up and it will end up in this top chest up here. Now this system here works off a, a bunch of um, redstone clocks pretty much and will always, always move the item to the next dropper. As you can see there is our 10 diamonds. So let's come over here really really quickly and I'll show you what I mean. So this here is a pretty much a small redstone clock and um, as long as there is an item inside that dropper the redstone clock will continuously pulse as you can see until the item is moved on once the item is moved on the clock will turn off so the item will never get stuck inside this inside the dropper itself so let's move on okay guys let's get this tutorial started so we should be using droppers to get the items up um, we, what you want to do is place the droppers uh, facing the sky not sideways like that but facing the sky like that all right so um, we'll be doing about t what, 10 levels in this tutorial uh, you can go as high as you want but we'll be doing 10 just just to keep it short for this tutorial all right so let's count um, nine more so um, uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all right and we want to place a chest on top of that just so the items will go somewhere you can use a ho you can also use a hopper to transport to place on top and transport the item somewhere else if you like but we just want to put we just want to transfer items to this chest for now okay so we come right back down the bottom and on we'll start on the left hand side it doesn't really matter what side you want to start on you can pick one and it doesn't matter at all but we'll I'm just gonna pick the left hand side here because the chest is facing us so this will be the front of our of our elevator and that will be the sides and then the back so yes all right so it doesn't matter what direction you, you really build it in but we'll be we'll be pretty much hooking a a uh, redstone clock up to every single dropper so nothing can get clogged it's always pulsing if there's some item inside the dropper all right so let's get these uh, little um, clocks done all right so first off you want to get your comparator and you want to place one down we're doing the bottom dropper first so right next to the dropper you want to place a redstone comparator down like that and then after that you want to place a redstone repeater like this okay and then pretty much to 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 make the clock you just pretty much got to run it back into itself like that so that there is the clock itself and that should work at all times Let's put an item inside this dropper and watch it work. See? Now what we need to do is we want that pulsing to go back into the to the to the dropper itself. So let's remove that item because we need that item. So all we have to do is put a redstone, repeat it down like that, and hook it up with some redstone itself. There you go. Alright. And then pretty much we put any a block of your choosing I'm using cobblestone today like that so now that redstone repeater will power that block which will power which will power this dropper here moving the item to the next one and then all we got to do is switch over to the other side here now we need to, to do exactly the same to that one so we build a little ramp coming out like this so it is pretty much a three by three like that okay same th same deal we're just gonna repeat repeat that over and over again so our comparator then a redstone repeater then we want to well we don't want that we want to run redstone back into itself like that see all right well oh, I think I've done the wrong side yes I have my bad all right okay so we've run the redstone back into itself and we get our redstone repeater back out place it down like that get our 
redstone back out, hook it up, place another block down like that. See, we're just pretty much zigzagging it, and we do that all the way to the top. So we come back on this side, build a little platform like that. Again, redstone comparator, redstone repeater, redstone itself and then a redstone repeater and then a block all right see how we're doing we're just going back and forwards back and forwards and we do that all the way until we hit the top let's keep going again let's do this again redstone comparator redstone repeater and then redstone run it back into itself like that and then redstone repeater on this side and hook that up to the redstone like that and block quite simple quite easy and you just do this all the way to the top and again redstone comparator redstone repeater and redstone to short itself out well make it make the clock Again, redstone repeater with more redstone and a block at the back. You've all you have to put this block here. If this block wasn't here, it would not power the dropper, which would not send the item to the next level. All right, you've got to have that there. But just keep switching back and forwards, so you're just building on top of each other. That's all you're doing. Quite simple. Again, redstone comparator, redstone repeater, followed by some redstone loop it around on itself like that redstone repeater on this side with some red with with it hooked up and block again okay guys now that we've hit the top and we've just repeated that pattern over and over and over again it's quite simple um, we want to make an input now so we're going to use some we're going to use some hoppers to pretty much just run into this bottom dropper all right so we're just gonna click 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 and then on top of that we're going to have a chest so this chest will drain out into these hoppers which will drain out into the bottom dropper which will turn on this clock transferring the items to the next one which will turn on the next clock which is that side then that side then that side then that side and this side if you want to make it look pretty no problemo you can just grab some redstone lamps just come here Whoop. and just run it right to the top like that it's quite simple and then unless you want to test it we want to throw 10 diamonds in here to make it to the top And as you can see, that is an I those two blocks that are lighting up is an item, and it gets faster and faster. And there you go, items are in ten diamonds. You can do you can you can transfer anything you like. And as you can see, it works perfectly. No items will get stuck because, as I was saying, it, the clock will continuously go until the item has transferred because the compare rate pretty much turns on the clock. So it's very simple, does not get jammed, it's very nice. Um, I know it's not it's not the smallest uh, um, item elevator, but it all sh sure works 100%. And there's not much lag. Yes, if you probably go 100 blocks in the air, probably lag, but there is pretty much zero lag with this one. 20, I've tried a 10, a tw 10, 20 block. There's pretty much zero lag, it's nice and smooth. But yeah, thanks for watching this tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, just post it below. And I'll catch you all later.